at our community calendar anytime you need it. All right, let's get cooking with our first feature story tonight. There is no need to strike a match or turn a knob. Just step outside and open up your oven to the sun. Spencer Baker bought this solar oven so that he'd be prepared for an earthquake. Now he and his family prepare nearly all of their meals with it. I figured we better cook with it a few times so if we do have an earthquake, I know how to use it. And we started using it once a week and then twice a week and then three or four times a week and now we use it pretty much as our main cooking all summer long and during the winter we use it probably about uh, three times a week. The oven uses the UV rays from the sun to cook food. It does not require any gas or electricity. The sun oven can be heated up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. There's a glass top and the light goes through the glass top and it has a black center which uh, the inside will absorb that heat. The mirrors will basically allow additional light to go through the glass so it, you can cook without the mirrors but it will get significantly hotter in the oven if you do have the mirrors out. Baker says you can cook pretty much anything with the solar oven. His daughter's favorite thing to make is pizza. For this one they used whole wheat dough, mozzarella cheese and tomatoes and basil from their own garden. He calls the solar oven the most green device you can get. Its only drawback is its lack of a temperature knob. Probably the toughest part of using a solar oven is learning how to adjust it to the sun to control the temperature. I, I've gotten to the point, I've been using it for years now, that uh, when I go set it up, I can tell where it's going to be within 10 or 15 degrees. Uh, I set it up at, a, at an oblique angle to the sun, so if the sun's coming down like this, I set it up flat, and that's how I use it as a slow cooker. Um, when I'm doing baking, like a, a large loaf of white bread where I want it to be as close to 400 as possible, I'll turn it so the sun is coming down at exactly 90 degrees to the glass face. A huge benefit to cooking outside in the summertime is you don't heat up a house that you're also trying to cool down with air conditioning. In the middle of summer, since we started doing all our cooking outside, we probably save about $100 a month on our electricity bill from our air conditioner. Baker says it's easier to perfectly cook a stuffed pork chop on his solar oven than it is to convince some people of how easy it is to cook with the power of the sun. I'm such a true believer in solar cooking. I, I just keep thinking if you had 10,000 households in this area or 20,000 households, the amount of electricity that would be saved, the amount of uh, gas that would be saved, uh, you know, just the amount of carbon footprint that would be improved is so huge. Solar cooking has actually been around for hundreds of years. Doesn't need to be hot to use a sun oven, just sunny. And we have plenty of sun around here, right? Solar ovens cost less than $300. You can find them online real easily. Just do a internet search for solar oven. Up next, you've heard of popsicles, but how about ratsicles? It's a special treat for Mejia, the living desert's new jaguar. We'll show you where she gracefully roams.